Weinig PowerMat 700 Molder Basic Operations Unlock the machine and check the compressed air. Turn on the machine and let it warm up for at least 2 minutes. Let the menu completely load and then start counting the 2 minutes. If there is a compressed air problem, a red box will light up in the top right corner of the screen. Selecting the profile. Profile menu. Select profile. Confirm selection. Usually companies have 30 profiles based on cutter head profile. These are different pre-programmed files from which you can select based on what cutter heads you have installed on the machine. This takes into account extreme swing and knives on cutter head, which is crucial to avoid collisions and other issues, making the workflow faster. Check the raw dimension with calipers at various spots on the piece. Measure the length as well. Follow the chart on the screen to ensure you are within the minimum and maximum size the molder can take. Adjust the bottom and right fence. Adjust so you are taking equal amounts of material from each side. The bottom fence works as a reference cut. The right can be a profile or a reference cut. Take off equal amount from each side to ensure equal tool wear. The actual size should match target after activating the changes. Make sure the numbers match. Wait for it. Check that width, thickness, and feed speed are correct. Roller height must be lower than the workpiece height. to ensure that the piece can slide into the machine but is held tight against the back fence. Leave some room for the rubber roller, around 1 mm. Turn key right to automatic mode, position 2. Turn on motors one by one to avoid sudden current draw, less stress on the electrical grid. Waxlet can smooth the bed without waxlet pieces will get stuck easily.